As I said in my Nintendo Direct discussion video, I was going to do a discussion on the state of play that happened today. And I just watched it, so now it's time for me to discuss it. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button, also share with your friends who you don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question or a comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel and you will become a fan. I hope so. Alright, Sony State of Play, September 13th. 2020. Alright, first game was Tekken. I hope you're a fan of Tekken because Tekken is coming back for the eighth time. Tekken 8. Uh, it said something about at the end of the cinematic that, that well, well, they showed off a cinematic and showed off a little bit of gameplay of these two fighters fighting each other. I recognize one of them, but don't even ask me what that character's name was. I don't remember. Because to be honest, the last time I played Tekken was Tekken 2 on the original PlayStation. That's how long it's been since I played Tekken. I know. Terrible, I know. But yeah, uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, they, but they did say uh, more details later. So I guess at a later date, I guess. Alright, next was two PlayStation VR 2 titles. Now, at this event, it was... Uh, Confirmed that PS4 and PS5 and PSVR 2 titles will be announced here. So here we go with the PSVR titles. Two of them. If I hadn't said that already. Which I probably did. Alright, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge Enhanced Edition. So what it looked like was, um, I guess you're at, um, I think Galaxy's Edge, I think is a place in Disney World. But with the game setting, I believe you're just in the world of Star Wars. And you interact with characters, you're throwing objects. Um, I'll have to see some more on it, but it did look pretty good when it comes to the graphics. Um, I'm excited about PSVR 2. It looks really good. good. And from what I heard about the tech in the headset, it's going to be amazing. Alright, next, I can't pronounce this one. Uh, is D E M E O is another PlayStation VR 2 title. Um, it kind of looks like a card game, and it's like one of those card games where you throw dice and then you have the cards too on the screen. Eh, it's not a game for me, um, but I know there's people out there that really do enjoy games like that. So if that is a like your kind of game and you're excited about it, then you can play it in VR, PlayStation VR 2. I believe that was the end of those titles. And now, here's one I cannot pronounce, but I can pronounce part of the title. Uh, it's it's uh, titled, Like a Dragon. No, it's not that Yakuza series, Like a Dragon. No, this is Like a Dragon. And the rest of the title, as far as I can make out from the gameplay when they showed off the title of the game, it kind of looked like it was I.S. I L I N. Not sure how you say that. But it's coming out for PS4 and PS5 February 2023. And from what I can remember correctly was it was a samurai warrior style game. Looked well, really, really good actually. Next, of course, they're really showing off this game a whole lot. But in this video, it was an exclusive quest, only playable on PlayStation only. And that quest was from Hogwarts Legacy. They showed off some new gameplay, and the quest that they showed off was the Haunted Hogsmeade Shop. You're going to be playing as the character, I guess, that you created. You go through the Hogsmeade Shop, and apparently it's haunted. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, the game is available February 10th. 2023. We're really looking forward to that. It's going to be really good. Oh, man. Next is, I think it's pronounced Pacific Drive. It's going to be releasing in 2023. Um, it looked like a first-person game. Uh, they had described the game where you're going to be driving in a car, which they did show it all off in the gameplay. You were in a car 
first person, can't see the character. You're in the car driving. So, it looked like, from what they were saying, it's going to be a survival game, but you're going to be driving and you have to survive. I don't know. I'll have to see some more on it. It kind of was giving me some horror vibes. So, I don't know if it's a horror game or something else. I don't, I don't have no idea. Uh, but yeah, that's all I know about that one. Next is, I don't know what this is. Uh, they talked about it very briefly. It's Star PlayStation Stars. It's some kind of program. Uh, they didn't show off what it was. They had this woman on, on the screen, and she was talking about it. It's some kind of program. You go on there, you earn points, and you can use those points to collect stuff, merchandise. I don't know. Uh, from, from, but from what she was saying, uh, this program is going to be available at Asia and other countries like that first, and then the U.S. version will be available at a later date. I don't know. I can't really tell you. Uh, just watch this data play, and maybe you'll get some more out of it, but that's pretty much all she said about it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a website. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, the next game is a game that I was very excited about when I first saw it uh, at a state of play. And it looked amazing. It's Bayonetta-like. Uh, now, they gave it a new title. But the way that they had it on the screen with the, um, with the um, designs and stuff, I could not make out what it said. It's, it seems like it was S. S letter blade I don't know but the original title for this game was Project Eve if you've ever seen gameplay on this go look it up type in Project Eve gameplay and you may even get the new title of the game and you'll be able to see it better because I couldn't hardly make it out what it was trying to read out but oh, it's very Bayonetta like uh, very, very Japanese to anime stylish, but it looks really realistic. Uh, it had like Japanese audio and English subtitles. Now, if it, is it going to be like that in the final game? Are they going to have English audio? Or is it just going to be Japanese audio only with the English subtitle? Either way, I'm excited about it. Bayonetta, fantastic series. This looks like this is going to be Bayonetta exclusively to PlayStation 5 because it is an exclusive PS5 title. Highly recommend checking it out. If you've ever seen Bayonetta, then you have an idea about what this looks like. It's got some creatures in there. Uh, just go watch it. It's awesome. Next is another PS5 exclusive. It's called Rise of the Rowan. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Is R O N I N, uh, and it's got that line above the O. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, but it was a action RPG samurai style game. I was getting some Ghost of Tsushima vibes off of it. Uh, so if you've ever seen Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, said it right that time. But yeah, if you ever seen gameplay on that game before, then you have an idea what this game looks like. Oh, it looks amazing. Uh, like I said, it's a PS5 exclusive. And, oh, and I'm so sorry. Project Eve is going to be releasing in 2023. And this Rise of the R-O-N-I-N game is going to be releasing in 2024. I just got so excited and so caught up in talking about Project Eve. I got my notes right here, and I have 2023, but I didn't say it. So I'm sorry. I apologize for not doing that. I just got caught up and so excited about talking about it. So yeah, that other game is a uh, good ways off in 2024 for that Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima-like game. Next was the last two things that they showed off. And both of them are pretty much the same thing. Except for one difference. And that one difference is. Was a controller. And the game was. God of War Ragnarok. 
So they showed off a limited edition DualSense controller. And of course, that is the PlayStation 5 controller. So it's got some uh, God of War Ragnarok details to the controller. It's limited, so if you want to get it, you need to go out and pre-order this thing as soon as you possibly can. It may be available to pre-order now, and it's going to be released on launch of the game, which is November 9th, 2022. Not too much longer until the new God of War game comes out. And of course, they showed off some more gameplay of God of War Ragnarok. And boy, is it looking so good. I don't want to spoil anything about certain characters that were in the game that were fighting each other, uh, especially if you have not beaten the God of War 2018 game, which I have not. I do plan to, but I do know what this character is in the game that Kratos was fighting. Very, very cool. Very excited about this game, and it's going to be released on PS4 and PS5. So PS5 players will not be left behind. Uh, so if you don't own a PS5 yet, or if planning to, or not anytime soon, you can play it on your PS4 consoles. So that's pretty cool. Alright, hopefully I didn't mess this video up too bad for you. Hopefully you still enjoyed it. This was my discussion for the PlayStation State of Play. Uh, it was... It was alright, you know, it's okay, I enjoyed about, I don't know, about three or four games that was announced here. Um, it, what I would want to see, I didn't do no predictions on this, but what I would want to see is Sly Cooper on PS5, that's what I want to see. But, hopefully we'll get that someday, I don't know. Alright, thank you so much, alright, bye.